Hello and welcome to my on the bench video about this electro component EMC CD player. I'll really, you won't have to listen to that tone for too long, but have a look. This is track 60. So what's significant about track 60 on this? I'll show you what's significant in a moment. This is my new disc for testing CD players and their performance. And as you can see here on the bottom, track 60 is a break of 3 millimeters. Oh, it's a painted uh, thing on the surface. So how does it look like? It looks like this. That is the break that this player was playing. 3 millimeter break without any artifacts. So this is this is uh, till now the only player that could that could do it. In here you can see the Philips CDM2 Pro mechanism, probably the last decent one that's um, ever been made. Um, I'm picking CDR here that says they won't play in some players to make it harder. Puck. So there you go, this is like a almost manual, like a CD player. I uh, like a turntable type of thing, you see, read it perfectly. So let's hear some music. So you see, it plays that nicely. Um, what about the player? Um, it is an uh, earlier version, uh, it's not the uh, EMC1 up, it's just EMC1. But it does up sample and it's not only because it says here on that plug that it's a um, 24 bit and 192 kilohertz uh, up sampler it's because uh, there is an up sampler board here and that's what it's a 16 to 24 bit up sampler board so uh, it certainly uh, does that um, a beautiful player beautifully sounding player what was wrong with it? Um, it has been that it had been damaged in transport. Behind that plug, that plug is not ju just there for show. Behind it, there's a hole to the screw, and that screw immobilizes um, electro components, propriety, mechanical cancellations. There's all these stuff there on rubbers, and and so it dampens. It's um, dampens its vibrations and whatnot and uh, and it's crucial to have that in place and also there's another bracket here that stops the drawer going this obviously wasn't in place and the whole thing was out of whack but it's good now it's almost perfect the only thing that still doesn't work is which i have to do is backlighting on that logo I've already have appropriate stuff for it, so it's just a matter of doing it. The only question that remains is, should I sell it or should I keep it? Always wanted one and could never afford one and, and now I have it. Uh, so I'll see and then if you can see even the display is nice and bright. So uh, we'll turn down my free jars so you don't have to suffer that you know the the i polished the front panel display it's it's almost perfect the the rest of it is extremely good nick uh, i might paint those screws gold because after polishing they're supposed to be brass um, it doesn't too light don't match the gold buttons i might paint them that's the only thing you know it's basically all finished and done up um, well, we'll see if I sell it or not. Uh, <laughs> it can make me an offer, high offer, <laughs> because it's a, it's incredibly good player, and uh, of course it has its full dual differential analog circuitry over there, you know. And uh, I can see that uh, I'll turn it down further. Uh, you can see that it's got uh, a lot of transistors there, and uh, it's a typical proper analog um, circuitry that Electro Company is famous for. 
A friend of mine has one of those players, the, the one up, and in his, for some reason, the cable going to the digital outputs was missing. So he, he never had digital outputs, but nobody ever complained for all these years because nobody ever tried even to use a digital output because the analog stage was so good. Well, this one, as you see, it has both ASEBU and, and coaxial outputs. Well, thank you very much for your attention. Until um, next time, uh, goodbye. And I apologize for this choice of music. This was the, the disc I had handy with... Uh, that was difficult to play, difficult to play CDR. Most players don't even read that. And this one you can flip and it will play instantaneously each track. And also what's, what's good about it is that uh, you don't have to go to press it twice to go back. If you just press it once, it goes so, you can skip to the second. But you know, it instantaneously plays, as you see, um, the counter, you know, it's brilliant. Okay. Thank you very much. Won't keep you anymore. Bye-bye.